Messing with a successful formula is risky business. Just ask Coca-Cola. Consumers learn to expect certain things from certain brands and can rebel when they don't get what they're supposed to. This is the issue that Activision was faced with when it began development of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the Wii. More of a racing game than a straight up trick fest, it tinkers with the formula with some surprisingly interesting results. Downhill Jam really only has one lone single player option, the aptly titled Downhill Jam. You begin by selecting from a group of characters. Tony is the only real skateboarder on the roster, or you can create your own from the fairly robust list of options. From here, you jump on a jam tour in hopes of becoming the downhill champion and unlocking all the content the game has to offer in the form of boards, characters, and outfits. The story isn't exactly told through compelling cutscenes. Instead, you get text and voice acting tossed in with some real skate footage of Tony and friends getting down. Like many Wii launch games, it's way short on visual trimmings. The one redeemer is the 40 song soundtrack, but even it has a hard time compensating for graphics that barely look as good as the average GameCube game. Aside from the downhill jam option, there's a healthy number of multiplayer features, including King of the Head, where only the leader has a head, and the winner is determined by who leads the race for the longest period of time. Indeed, Downhill Jam has been designed primarily as a multiplayer racing game like SSX versus a standalone, free-roaming skateboarding game. The multiplayer options are varied and fairly entertaining, though don't count on playing them online or having a LAN party anytime soon, as neither feature is an option. There are dozens of races that take place across eight different environments included in the game. Each course has a handful of different lines to follow that will lead you to some death-defying leaps across incredible gaps or careening along rails at warp speed. Objectives include the obvious getting down the hill first, but you'll also enter point competitions where you have to roll up a certain score in a specific period of time, or slalom where you navigate gates and have to follow a specific line. None of the modes are going to set the halfpipe on fire, but the complement of options certainly gives it some legs. Tricks are a big part of any Tony Hawk game, and it's no different here, though things have certainly been simplified a little. Since there are just two easily accessible face buttons on the controller, you'd think that the franchise's notorious complexity would be quelled. But the developers have decided to combine button presses with various Wii remote gestures, which may sound simple, but when you're shooting down a hill at 100 miles an hour, you don't exactly have enough time to get the moves with the Wii remote exactly right. The rest of the tricks, including airs and grinds, are performed by just using the two buttons, which means that a lot of the moves are context sensitive. If you try to perform specific tricks or combos in downhill jam, it's extremely difficult. Fortunately, the game is so easy to complete that you'll never have to bother. How does a game as fast as Downhill Jam perform with the Wii Remote? And the answer is pretty darn good. You turn the remote on its side just like an NES controller and tip it from side to side to steer your rider down the hill. If you turn it too far to one side, you'll experience a dead zone, which can be an issue until you learn how to power slide around turns. Looking good while playing the game is almost too easy. You can mash on the buttons once you've locked onto a rail and reel off trick after trick without breaking a sweat, as the balance meter is far too generous. Riders tend to lock onto predetermined paths down the hill, keeping you from straying too far off course, but limiting the freedom in the process. Bumping into pedestrians and other riders will slow you down, unless you use the attack commands, and there are trick gates scattered along the tracks that will slow down time, allowing you to